The show starts in one minute. But I do. And I think of them now, of course, from my vantage point years after going to them, as a wonderful part of Americana. It was a great era. Uh, I love the look of them. You could put your seat back and put your feet up and be comfy and cozy. It, it was big private. escapism. Uh, like you know, this is where the guy who worked so all day in the railroad. Pack the kids up in the whatever. station wagon. And you just kind of kick and back and you watch the movie. And it's, it's, it's and great. You know, know, it's good old time. Time. wanted to do everything Plus, but watch the movie. My mother and father were in the car and if we were at the playground. the playground. Star Wars. And driving. And driving. Just get the hell out of this world and back to one a drive-in yeah, movie, just, uh, I think, you remember as you would your first kiss, your first car, your prom. Those innocent times that you spent as a child with your family. drive in. Next morning you'd find braziers hanging on the speakers. We have ushers that would go to the cars to make sure that they, the people were watching the movie and not something else. My skirt goes up in the air and all of a sudden he's jumping on me and getting all excited. We're going along pretty good and he's lifting my sweater and all of a sudden I see that the windows are fogging up and I, I looked out and I got closer and I said, there's people out there looking in. He said, <laughs> he said, yeah, it's just my boys, honey. I said, well, I'd, I don't, I'd rather your boys didn't watch if you don't mind. Well, without drive-ins, America probably loses um, about half its current adult population, I bet. There was one man I met at a party. He told me that his son was conceived at a drive-in playing one of our films. You build it, and they will come. If there's one person left that likes to go to outdoor movies, that person will do something to keep drive-ins alive today. It's something that, uh, that was, as you said, part of Americana. I could get with one of these Elvis Presley look-alikes and do it all over again. <laughs> Although I think there always will be a few th drive-in theaters around, but I think it'll be more for the nostalgia experience. So drive-ins capture more memories than just, oh, I saw this great movie, instead it was, oh, we had this amazing time. Or, Whenever oh, we were driving this, anywhere, this if we passed a drive-in so screen. I got all excited. It was a great and time of my life, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. I love the drive-in movies. On these great nights when the sky was lavender and... And every person we mentioned drive-in movies to stops a moment and smiles. And we can see them reminisce. It reminds them of their youth and maybe being in the car in the front seat with the crush of their life. And they were a good thing, and I hope that they will always be on the landscape. The people that went to them, like me, like you, they'll live with us forever. <laughs> 